Alright, what is up y'all and welcome back. It is currently about 2 in the afternoon right now. It is an absolutely beautiful day out here on Galveston Bay. We are at the Texas City Dyke. Take a look right here. Pretty much close to the end. And we have a light southeast wind blowing less than 10 miles an hour. Sun's coming out. It's about 80 degrees right now. The weather for the next few days is looking awesome. And we're out here trying to do a little bit of drum fishing. I've been fishing pretty much every day this week and it's been so slow. It's crazy because with beautiful weather like this, you think that it'd just be awesome fishing, but quite the opposite the past few days. We have good time movement too, so I don't know what's been going on, but hopefully the bite turns on here this afternoon. We had dead low tide about 30 minutes ago. We're almost at that tidal switch right now and then we have a high tide at like six or seven this afternoon. So hopefully that bite starts picking up here in the next 30, 45 minutes and we'll be able to catch some big giant black drum or bull redfish for you guys. I'll show you what we're using in just a minute, but basically it's just a little bit of 40 pound leader, spider weight, and a chunk of cut blue crap. Anyway, so right now I'm just sitting here chilling, hanging out, enjoying the weather and hoping that one of these rods gets bent over. So y'all stay tuned, let's see what happens. Been out here about an hour with the crabs in the water. Haven't gotten a bite yet. Uh, it's three o'clock though, so my idea is that that tide switched around. It's coming in. If we're gonna get a bite, it should happen right now between about three and five. I haven't seen anybody catch anything actually, but good news is we got Boyd's crawfish. So we got something to kill the time while we're waiting. We're just gonna leave these soaking, probably get a reel and check the lines here in a second and get them back out so I can get a fresh bait out for the next hour while that uh, bite is supposed to pick up. So. We'll see if anything happens, but so far it's been pretty slow. It's still a beautiful day. Wind's picked up a little bit and the fog has really rolled in. It kind of got sunny for a minute, but now it's super foggy. Let's see what happens though. Okay, well we still have our whole bay right here. A little bit of the meat's gone on the inside, it's usually how the crabs look after they've been sitting for a while, but we still have a lot. So I think it's actually good to go ahead and send this one back out. If there's a hungry black drum swimming by or a redfish, they're gonna eat this, even if a little bit of the meat is missing. So we're not gonna put on a new bait because crabs are hard to come by right now. We're gonna cast this back out as far as we can, put it back in the rod holder, and hopefully we'll get a bite in the next hour and a half or so. All right, let's see if we can get lucky with that moving tide right here. I'm gonna show you the rig that we're using today. I've been going over this in every video, but we have a swim up at the top right here, 40 pound monofilament leader, a couple feet of that. That's where we have our weight ties. with a snap swivel so we can change out the weight if we want, spider, pyramid, whatever. A couple beads to protect the swivels. That's connected to another swivel, another couple feet of 40 pound leader below that, tied straight to the hook. I'm not really changing out hooks whenever I'm using these, so I don't feel the need to put a snap swivel down here. I feel like tying your line straight to the hook is a lot stronger than a snap swivel. Sometimes those snap swivels do come loose. So that's what we got right there. We're gonna hook up a piece of crab. I'll show you how it's working. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our crab. We got cut in half. I don't have my knife today. I lost it. So we're just having to rip in half by hand. We're gonna take off all these legs. I feel like it helps the bait fly better in the air. You'll get a little bit more distance. Hell, even 10, 20 feet more distance is pretty important when it comes to this pull these legs off like that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our hook. And these female crabs, these are all females. And what I found is if you put the hook right here and you make it come out the bottom of the shell like I usually do, you lift the apron up, it's very thin and it's just been ripping and falling right off. So I have to go back to do it the old way, which is hooking it down through here and then coming out the other leg. Unfortunately, this doesn't expose your hook as well. And it also keeps it so that bait's not gonna fall off if you get a bite, which is kind of important. A lot of times when you get a bite, you want that hook to pull out and the bait get out of the way so you can get a good hook set on the fish. With this, the chances of that happening are a little bit less, but it should still work. So, it's our setup right here completely done. We've got the leader, six ounce spider weight, big chunk of blue crab, and that's all you need to come out here and catch these big black drum or big blue reds. Unfortunately, they haven't started biting yet, but like I said a couple minutes ago, hopefully they'll start biting in the near future. Let's cast them out and see if there's one running by. 
Okay, y'all. Well, I will admit my predictions were wrong. It is five o'clock right now. We have not gotten a bite in the last few hours. We've been here for, this makes four hours now without even a nibble on any of the rods. So we are gonna go ahead and reel up and head on home. If you've seen this video right now, you can obviously tell that that means I posted it, even though it is a skunk video. And I'm doing that because I hope that you at least got a little bit of information out of it. Whether that's the rig, the bait, where we are, and just what we're doing in general. I hope that it helps some of y'all come out here because trust me, when the black drums start running, and if they were here right now, they would be buying that bait and they would be buying that setup, no doubt about it. We are a little bit early. Usually the drum run really starts kicking off around the end of February. So next week it should start getting real good. And then all the way through March and April, it's usually on fire. So definitely come down here and try this out if you want to catch yourself a big old black drum because there are some huge fish that run through here. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. If you are, like always guys, thank you very much. And until next time, peace.